Hi everybody, I'm going to be grooming this Pomeranian today. I'll be giving him a bath and then blow drying him of course and giving him a little bit of a trim. Hi, okay. He's all brushed out, washed and blow dried. Make sure you got all the undercoat out and all the knots out. And I usually start with the nails first. You want to cut the nails so that you can trim the hair as short as uh, possible on the feet. Because if you cut the hair before the nails, you're going to have longer hair. It won't look good. So to make the, the foot look nice and round and tight, you cut the nails first. And always check the dew claws. Okay, so what I do... Hang on a sec. You brush all that hair up, brush it or comb it. You don't want to cut into the undercoat because it won't look good. You can use a, um, a clipper on the, the pads if you like, but I'm just going to use the scissors. On the pad here. So you want a nice round paw. So that's the, the trimmed one. Let me move that out of the way. And there's the hairy one. So I'm going to do that to all the other three feet. Okay, so all his feet are trimmed. I'm just going to brush his, um, his featherings out. Now the customer wants his hair long, so I usually comb them down and cut off any stray hairs hanging down. That's a little bit too fluffy for me, so I'll just cut it down a little bit. This ain't for show, by the way. I mean, show dogs, you wouldn't really cut too much. Well, show dogs do get a lot of trimming, but this is a pet. Just to let you know. So I would do the front like that. And then the back. See all this hawk hair? Oh, I didn't comb that very good, but anyways. It's all tight, full of undercoat. So make sure it's well combed. Sorry, baby. I usually comb it outwards. And just trim up. I don't cut it right to the skin, of course, because it will look like he has a small, skinny, skinny hawk, which is very skinny. So just to make it look a little bit fatter, we do it a little bit longer and just tidy up the edges here, like that. So I'll do the other side too. Okay, the feet and the legs are, are pretty much done. I'm just going to show you what I do to the back end here. Make sure it's all nicely brushed. I just trim around the bomb a little bit, just the openings. Just so he doesn't get anything stuck there. Brush everything the tail. I just um, trim the tip here. Hello, buddy. Hope you can see that. Let me just check. Yeah. Okay, now the. Oops, a daisy. This area here, I, I usually comb down um, what we call the pants and I trim them pretty much even almost with the hawk the top of the you know the ankle here and um, 
She doesn't like too much cut off on this little guy, so I'm not going to cut too much. But sometimes you can make a V in here, you know, by just putting your scissors this way and then that way. But maybe I'll just do a little bit to show you, but not drastically. There is a knot in there, so I'm just going to cut it. She won't even notice because that's on the inside. If there's any mats or anything on the inside, you can just cut them off. These dogs have so much hair, it doesn't really matter. Let's see, and I thought he was all brushed out. It's okay, sometimes they go over these dogs and they're still knots. But by the time they go home, they're all brushed out. You gotta move up, honey. You're gonna get cut out of the camera. Okay, hang on. He wants a break. Okay. So the tail, I trimmed the tip. I just comb this down a little bit. hold it almost straight up, but a little higher. I'll just round this part off. He's got thin hair up here. So I'm not going to really cut much of his tail. Okay, so that's his bum. That's all I'm going to do. Well, sometimes actually you can see how much hangs here. Maybe a little bit more right there. Okay, come here. All right. Okay, right there. Okay, so pretty much everything's done. He didn't need a lot of trimming, but I just want to show you the ears. I always use a small comb around the head because there's lots of undercoat here, even on the cheeks. You can get one of those small cat combs. I do have one, I just don't have it handy to show you. Okay. Now, if they have any hair on their ears, let me see. You're not supposed to see the ears sticking up, so I just trim the edges. He doesn't have a lot of hair there, but just to show you. I just make them round. You can also use um, thinning shears to bulk out anything. So now if he has any, you know, uneven hairs hanging down, just take the scissors and you can just trim the edges like that. Turn sideways, baby. Isn't he cute? He's just a cutie pie. Go. Just trim the edges very lightly. And that's all he's going to get today. Turn around. Just the straggly ends. So that's it. It was pretty easy overall. The brushing, though, I didn't film that, of course. It took forever. To brush out all the undercoat and the drying. Use a high velocity dryer, cage dryer for a little bit, and then your hand dryer. But he's a great dog. Okay, thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye.